but um, I don't believe it's the Holy Spirit. You know, because Jesus said, if it has to go for that comforter to come. Yeah. Okay? So we know that the Holy Spirit was with Jesus during his lifetime, or even before he was born, mm. uh, with um, John the Baptist's uh, mother, mm. Elizabeth, right? Yeah. yeah. So it cannot be the Holy Spirit. There can only be a person to come. And we know this person is not Paul, because we know Paul came after Jesus, yeah. because Paul was persecuting Christians before he became a Christian, yeah? So I want to know, like, who do you think this is? Yeah. So. Yeah. The person to come, um, you know, would be the Holy Spirit, according to Scripture itself. In the Scriptures itself, it tells you it is the Holy Spirit. It tells you it's the Holy Spirit. Um, so, how would you, how would you deny that? Because the Scriptures claim that it's the Holy Spirit if you just keep reading more in the passage. I mean, this thing is reiterated over and over and over in John a few times where he's going to send someone else. You know, he must go so the Comforter can, you know, so. Yeah, but how do, you, how do you reconcile when he says that Jesus says, if I don't go, the, Holy, uh, the Comforter can, will only come if I go away. But we know the, comf the Holy Spirit was, was with, with Jesus already. So how do you reconcile with that? That's like a contradiction. Yeah, no, 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 no. So, so the thing is, is this, right? So he's telling them, it's, it's basically him telling them, when I leave, the Holy Spirit will come dwell in you guys and continue to move you guys forward. It's, a, it's, not, it's not, oh, how can he send something that's already there? The Holy Spirit thrives all over, wherever. But what he's saying is, is that when I leave, the Holy Spirit is going to come dwell within you guys and keep you guys in, 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 intact. In, 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 intact and basically move in the way that I have taught you guys to move. You see what I'm saying? So it's not, I, I, it, it, it's not contradictory. There's just a statement of validating that the Holy Spirit is going to come dwell within them. Yeah, but if, if the Holy Spirit dwells in, within Christians, mm -hmm. why is it then there's so much different denominations of Christians up to the point where you have the Council of Nicaea mm -hmm. and they have to come together with many different priests um, in that area or around the world? Well, it's the same you reason know. why, and I don't like to, I don't want to jump, but I'm just saying it's the same reason why all other major religions all other major theological positions major theological groups we don't even we can even go outside of theological groups and just use other different positions and, and, and we can see all of these groups have always had disputes there's always going to be naysayers there's always going to be people that have a difficulty understanding scripture and going with the the going with you know what is being told Everybody is going to have their own difference of opinion on what's taking place, which is not a problem. But Muslims pick apart the fact that there were disputes and say, see, you guys have disputes within your religion. You guys had to come together and figure out certain things. So what? You guys had to do that things, too. I mean, that yeah, doesn't invalidate that doesn't invalidate a religion. So. Whatever took place at the Council of Nicaea, which I don't have too much knowledge on, but I know they didn't uh, uh, figure out uh, uh, whether Jesus is God or not. I know they didn't figure that out at the Council. But I think they did. No, they did not establish whether Jesus was God at the Council of Nicaea. I've done a little bit of research, and I know that that is not what was taking place at the Council. Um, now, because I don't have service, I would look it up right now. But uh, Do you want service for my phone? If, if, if we can, yeah, because yeah, I believe I believe they were just I believe they were just going back and forth with heretics about uh, about the statements that he made as far as you know being the son of God and just who Jesus was specifically. But they didn't. What, what I'm saying is is that they didn't create Jesus being God at the Council of Nicaea. That's what everybody tries to say, and that's not what that's that's actually not what took place. Like the creation of Jesus being God. Internet. Yeah, the creation of him being God was not created at the council is that is that what you believe well history says that so i don't know <laughs> i mean i i, I mean myself what, what, I don't, history, I don't, what history I mean, says that? no 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 i mean myself i don't know much about it like you but i've read it where it says a lot of the priests come around and they started um yeah they were debating about yeah, they were debating exactly, about yeah, christ debating about it, they yeah. were debating about christ but they weren't debating whether he's god or not like they weren't debating 
uh, oh, let's, well, let me say this. They weren't creating him being God at the council. Is it all right, isn't it? Yeah, I think I got yeah, it. Cool. Its main accomplishments were settlement of Christian theology issues of the divine nature of the uh, God, the Son, and his relationship to God the Father. You see? So, it, it, this is something that was already being established. That's why I said, I said, I think that they were coming and having disputes and going back and forth about, you know, his claims of being the Son of God and his divine nature and connection to the Father. Yes, this, this right? is what I meant. That's what the I debate, to say yeah. a little bit earlier, just a little bit vague. So, it's not that they created the Trinity. Like, no, oh, I, think, the I, think, I think the way I said it, I got it wrong. What I meant is yeah. debate. Yeah. Debate about it. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. fine. I mean, yeah. I, yeah, go ahead and debate about it. I mean, we're debating about it today. There's nothing wrong with that. That's just like us <laughs> well, debating about. I'm a Christian. <laughs> but, but here's the thing. That's just like us debating about. That's just like us debating about it right now. And then, uh, 200, 300 years later, right? We're the biggest figures, and they say, "Look, see, you know, uh, Life and Bob debated the uh, uh, the Trinity. See, so that means that you know there's issues with the Trinity. Yeah. No, it doesn't. That just means that two people." had a disagreement on what the Trinity actually meant and they mm. came together and they talked about it. Now, what I'm saying is, is that the Council of Nicaea, people say that it, the Trinity was created there. The Trinity was not created there. The, 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 the divinity and the, the, the aspects of him being the son of God were discussed there. That's it. And okay. they came down to an agreement on what was had and the scriptures refuted everybody. So, you know, that's basically what was ha going on uh, at the council. Yeah, but the debate led them to have the dominant belief that Jesus is God, isn't it? The well, because led the, them scriptures, to believe the that. scriptures prevailed. Yeah. I mean, it, well, the, what okay. I'm saying is the truth is going to prevail. So if the truth prevailed and out of that, out of, out of that council, they now understand yeah. scripture. Because like, let's say there shouldn't be anything uh, wrong. Let's with say that. if they had believed that Jesus was God in the first place, then there wouldn't be a debate. Like me and you, mm -hmm. we disagree because mm -hmm. of our disagreement yeah, and, yeah? But that's what do you why mean, we're here in debate what, what, what do you mean by okay so what do you mean by they are you, you like mean, i'm mean talking about council of nicaea the reason why they come came along yeah. to have a debate is because but were they people there that believed jesus was god yeah some of them were yeah yeah, yeah, we go. yeah. that's what i'm saying yeah so that's why they debated other yeah. ones didn't other ones other ones did that's, so what, that's I'm what they debated yeah, yeah that's what i'm saying yeah the, the, <laughs> yeah the divine aspect of the son of god you know yeah. his connection to the father and etc right yeah. which would link him to obviously being god right right okay. and so these are things that they discussed so i don't i didn't are we now saying that because there was a debate about no 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 i'm just saying because it's a debate yeah and also the Bible is not very clear about Jesus divinity. Um, divinity. So, you know, that's problematic. Um, but, like, even but, us, but even us Muslims, we, we disagree with each other. But, but we don't disagree with major beliefs. But you understand the conclusion of the council though. Yes, I understand, yeah. Right, yeah. So, so understanding the conclusion of the council means that you yeah. understood that they did understand yes. the scriptures to yeah. be true. Yeah, well, so they took it that using way. Using yeah. the fact that there was a debate at the council doesn't help your case because at the end of the day the scriptures refuted everybody and they won and the scriptures were what the scripture said and they all came down to an agreement to what we believe today about christ so bringing up the council a lot of muslims they do they bring up the council just proves something in which they don't even agree with the conclusion that the people came up with at the council was that no, the scriptures I mean, are telling the truth no i i always use I use the council sometimes just to show that there was a disagreement. But I'm not saying that Christians don't have that belief. I'm just okay. showing it to you. Yeah. you know I mean, right, like right, even right. us Muslims, we have disagreement. Mm -hmm. But we don't have disagreement when it comes to like Allah being one. You know, okay. none of us have it. Yeah. One, that's it. You know what I mean? And well, that, you do. That's you a do. major well, belief. You do. You do. You do have disagreement on Allah being one because there was an issue in the development of your religion where there was a question being asked about his oneness and uh, well, what was it? What was the question that was asked? Uh, is is the Quran? Is the Quran his the, uh, Allah's the word, word or okay. eternal word or not? There was a big dispute about that, and everybody, you know, you know, went up in arms after that. So, and that that all tied to his oneness and Tawheed and things like that. That's why the question was asked because it was based on his oneness and you know. So I believe that you guys do believe that Allah is one, right? There's one God, but just saying well, there's one God doesn't negate the fact that there's still an understanding of that oneness in itself. And Muslims do not believe 
within accordance. Not all of you guys. You guys don't believe within accordance that the oneness is just standard all throughout uh, Islam. Because saying God is one is fine. Because if you were to say that, yeah, we believe God is one. Hmm. But your oneness and our oneness is two completely different things. No, ours we is believe just God one, is one. one alone, yeah. We believe God is triune. Right. Which is still one, but it's triune. So, I mean, I don't want to talk about it because you said to me, <laughs> you said to me, you don't want to talk about it. Yeah, I'm still, I'm, I'm, I'm still getting, I'm, yeah, I'm still so getting, I don't, yeah, I'm, I'm still gonna, getting, I'm, I'm gonna, still I'm gonna, up, honor, I'm still brushing up on the tree. Yeah, but, I'm gonna, I'm gonna honor what you want because you said to me you don't want to talk about it. So, yeah, let's just talk about, concentrate to that one, mm. uh, the chain of narration, yeah? Mm -hmm. mm. So, you said the uh, comforter is the Holy Spirit, which means mm. will come in and enter into people. Right. Okay? Yeah. But it has ended into people already. Okay. Like, like, Jesus was there. As you can see, there's times in the Bible where he says, receive the Holy Spirit. Well, for you example, well, 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 for example, right? For example, uh, when John was baptizing with water, right? Um, he was baptizing with water and he said, he will baptize with the Holy Spirit, right? Okay, cool. So we know the Holy Spirit is prevalent, has to be prevalent if this is mm -hmm. the case, correct? So what I'm saying is, is this, He's telling you about the Holy Spirit. He's telling you that when I go, there is going to be the Spirit running through you. I'm going to send the Spirit. Doesn't mean that the Holy Spirit was never there to begin with. The Holy Spirit was just sitting back, never there, never doing anything. No, that just means that he's going to go and then he's going to send the Spirit to continue to move them in the way that he wants them to be moved. That's it. It doesn't mean that there's some sort of contradiction there or there's something going on and like, you know, the spirit was already here. So how can he send the spirit? No, that doesn't make any sense. The spirit is everywhere, you, okay. just like God is everywhere. So if he decides to go, does he could still send the spirit? I don't understand how I don't understand how that that that's an issue. So do you, saying he's going to send the spirit. I don't, I don't get it. OK, so do you believe like uh, the Holy Spirit was um, uh, has told Christians anything new? Like since the time of Jesus, anything new or is it's always been the Has same? Has the Holy Spirit taught? Yeah, the Holy Spirit works in the numerous of ways. So the Holy Spirit is teaching every, the, the, anyone who has the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is guiding them to truth. So, of course, if you if, if I'm being guided to the truth, then that means that at some point in time, then I may have strayed away from it or I may not know it. So I can be taught different things through the Holy Spirit. Absolutely. So I believe, yes, the Holy Spirit has taught different people new things. Okay. And also reminds them of what they should know of the scriptures. Also reminds them as well of the truth as well. So you can be guided to the truth and be reminded of the truth. So um, in the Bible, Jesus says um, he didn't come to break the law. Mm. It came to fulfill it. Yeah. I think this is Matthew 5, 17 to 20. Right, right. And um, as you know, the, the Jewish law all is in the Old Testament. So when, when you have Paul mm. that came later, and then it's like, oh, no, you know, you, you shouldn't be under the law. Mm. Like, just believe. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that, that's like going against the Holy Spirit because Jesus says, do this. And then Paul comes and says, oh, do, no, 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 don't do this, mm -hmm. do this. So that doesn't make sense to me that the Holy Spirit is guiding Paul. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know? okay, so give me an example of what Jesus said do and Paul said don't do. Second of all, Paul was moved by Jesus and the Holy Spirit himself because we know that Paul was, uh, 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 Paul met Jesus on the road to Damascus. So we don't see a pushback from Paul on what Jesus taught. Jesus taught, uh, 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 Paul taught the things Jesus taught. Paul was moved by God himself. So we don't, we don't look at that the way you guys look at it. Oh, well, Paul came and said something completely different. No, absolutely not. So what do you, what do you understand when Jesus says, like, keep the whole law, like, of the Old Testament, for yeah. Matthew 5? Yeah, the Old Testament law is still valid, but we are just now under the law of Christ. It's just as simple as that. It's yeah. still it's 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 still valid. If you are not if you are not in Christ and you want to live via the Old Testament law, that's on you. You don't have Christ. You 
want to still live in the old days, you want to still live in the past, then that's fine. But we are under the law of Christ. That doesn't mean that, oh, the Old Testament law is garbage and it's thrown away. No, absolutely not. It's just fulfilled. And now we are under a new law, which is the law of Christ. Is that, so, a, law, is that a law of Paul? Is there a law of Paul? No, 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 there's no, no, no. law of Paul. No, no, I meant that because Christ said, keep the law. And then Paul comes and say, no. So to me, when I see that. No, 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 no. no. So when we're under the law of Christ, so being under the law of Christ, hmm. right, is obeying God, loving God, and loving thy neighbor, right? Those are the two commandments that he said. Yeah, love yeah. God and love thy neighbor. Love God covers an entire massive amount of things and guidance and, and, and truth and, and, and things that you have to follow in order to love God in the first place, correct? So when he says that we are no longer bound by that law, they were asking the same questions, right? And this is what you were bringing, this is what you're bringing up. They're asking the same questions. Mm. And they said, no, right? Oh, should we go sin? Can we sin? And this, 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 and that, right? Because we're no longer bound by the law. No, you can't. Why? Because we are still under the law of Christ and Christ continuously. Which is, taught which is the Old Testament, sinning. yeah? No. The law the of new, Christ. Is that, the the okay. law of Christ is, is, is his new law. Love God and love thy neighbor. So under loving God and loving thy neighbor, yes, we still have to follow the Ten Commandments because if we follow the Ten Commandments, then that's loving God, right? We okay. love God, we follow the Ten Commandments, we stray away from sin. So okay. what we're saying is, is that the Old Testament law, the Mosaic law, is a law that we are not under anymore. We are not under, we're not, we are not guided by Moses anymore. We are not living during that time period. We are under Jesus, the, the law of Christ now. We're not under the law of Moses. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, but can you um, can you guys do idol worship like Catholics with Mary statues and Jesus statues? Well, can you I'm do not that? A, well, I'm not a Catholic. I don't <laughs> get into that because I can't. I can't. I can't tell you about that. But but they do I, that. What, don't I, they? What, what I wouldn't say is that they do idol worship because I've heard them say that they don't plenty of times. So so you see them we, as you but, see but, them but as you idol worshippers. But you know we don't worship idols. We can't. But do you do see that. them? The, do you see Catholics as idol worshippers? Do I see Catholics as idol worshippers? Yeah. No. Why not? But they <laughs> venerating. They have venerating and stuff. Okay, okay, I'll tell you this. <laughs> if I see Catholics as idol worshippers, then I'd have to see Muslims as idol worshippers. Why? Why for us Muslims? Because of how I see Muslims venerate Muhammad in the Sunnah. Yeah, but to venerate somebody and to actually make a statue and bow down to them is two different things. Well, you guys venerate <laughs> a stone and bow down to it. No, 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 no. We don't bow down to a stone. You mean that the stone in, in, in Mecca? Yeah, you guys, you guys bow down no, to no, no, it no, we, and we kiss it. it. We kiss it. Yeah, but That's like, even worse. there you go. Right? Like, <laughs> if you... No, keep going, keep going. If you, um, if you face towards Mecca and pray, that doesn't mean it's idol worship. Or it doesn't mean that you're actually praying to the Kaaba. That's just a command from God, you know, because I'm sure. Um, so you're telling me that if yeah, but in if, Leviticus it says, "Do not lift, do not place up a stone and bow down to it." To no, 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 we don't bow down. We bow down towards the Kaaba. No, you guys bow down. To, no, 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 you guys bow down. The stone is there. Yeah. But we face towards the Kaaba. The stone is just there, but we face towards the Kaaba. You know? Well, okay, but the stone is in the. The, the stone, stone was there is, from the, heaven. Yeah, right. that's what we believe. So you got, we yeah. believe like it's a. It's a basically precious. Was, was the stone always there? No, because when so Adam. Was the, so okay, so the stone was just an empty box at first. No, no, no. We believe when Adam came down to the earth, he built the Kaaba first. So God gave him a stone. And but that, was the stone? Okay, so so okay. So, so what was first? Was it the stone, then the Kaaba around the stone, or was it the Kaaba? And then the stone. I think the stone first because. So the stone was always yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As a foundation. Okay, there we go. So, yeah. so regardless of whether I say you guys bow down towards the stone or you bow down towards the box, it doesn't matter because both of these things are simultaneous, right? They're 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 there, right? Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, we have these two. We have a we have the we have the we have the Kaaba, and then we have the stone. You guys bow down towards it. Yeah, but like period. in the Bible, the box is the box yes. is in one central location. Yeah, and all over the world, you guys find your face, geolocation face it, and yeah. you face towards it. Yeah, but facing towards a temple and pray, it's actually in the Bible, you know. But does that mean it's idol worship? The prophets of God, King Solomon, and other people. Well, Abraham built four altars, so. Yeah, I know, but prophets of God, they face towards the temple and pray. And they also do the Tawaf. The Tawaf is the seven, you know, in Kaaba, 
walk but what I, out. But but here's the thing. When we're talking about us, we're, we're talking about the stone here. Okay. We're talking about the stone. Yeah, but the stone, the, the stone can be taken out. A house, a, a place <laughs> of worship is completely different from a, a stone being there. Like the thing is, is that the stone is there, and then you guys interact with it, yeah. right? But it's, we don't it, have the, to. The stone though. isn't just we don't there for decoration. To. But it's, we don't. You we guys don't interact have to. With the stone, we don't have to. Which know. becomes idol worship. No, 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 no. It's not compulsory. Like if you go to Hajj, yeah, which mm -hmm. is coming up actually. Mm -hmm. In the next few days, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you go there, if we go for Hajj, yeah, Muslims, yeah, the stone. Like, if I go there, I don't have to even touch it. That's just to show. Well, no one's saying. I, no, no one ever said that you have <laughs> no, to I'll, touch it. Like, I, 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 just, I know you're not forced to touch it. Yes, like, yeah. I just want to let you know. Yeah, it's not part of the Hajj rituals. You know, but people do it out of love, like like no, like you. No, they don't yeah. do it out of love. They do it because they do it because no. Muhammad did it. Yes, out of love. That. Because he did it out of love, yeah, people also copy him and do it. But mm -hmm. there's nowhere in the Hajj ritual that says you have to kiss the stone. There's nowhere it says that. So this is what I'm saying. If I go there, I don't have to kiss it, okay? But if who, I kiss who, it out of love... Who, who touched it and kissed it first? Who's the first person? The Prophet, so I love, yeah. Thank you. So that's why they do it. I, and and, and, and let's, let, let me say this. I do understand that you can say they do it out of love, okay? They do it out of love for Muhammad. Yeah. That's 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 what they that's what they do it out of love yeah. for, right? They do it out of love for the prophet because it's even in your sunnah hmm. where the guy says, "I wouldn't have did this unless I didn't see you do it." Yeah. So they do it but, out of love for but him. Omar. But Omar said the. The stone neither benefits you or well, harm they you. Said it doesn't do which anything. means, which means, the stone is not very important. Which is a little contradictory yeah, yeah. because it <laughs> says that the stone will 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 come alive and attest to the people who touched it for their sins. Yeah, I, that's just that's just. Let's say, is that in the hadith? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. If it is there and the stone says that, this is the stone coming and testifying people were at the Hajj. In fact, because of. Um, the love, yeah, they mm -hmm. even kissed me. Mm -hmm. But it does not mean that we worship the stone. Come on. It's like, it, look, uh, in the Bible, know, in the Bible, yeah, um, King Solomon mm -hmm. built the temple mm -hmm. and faced towards it and prayed. Mm -hmm. And someone else as well, I can't remember who it is. I think it's Joshua. Yeah, but, it, but here's the thing. We're not talking about a temple, right? We're not talking about that, right? People pray in temples all the time. People build no, temples. No, 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 face, face towards it. Yeah, face not, towards it. No, not inside. Uh, okay, inside, outside, play face yeah. towards them, temple. Like, like Muslims, okay. we, we face towards the Kaaba. The same in the Bible. Oh, we're talking about the stone. <laughs> <laughs> you, you see what I'm saying? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Because the temple is essentially just a place of worship. Yeah, but you said to me, we face towards the Kaaba. You have a no, problem I with that. No, I said you guys. I said you face. Yeah, yeah, you face towards the, the Kaaba. Yeah. My thing is, is the stone is in the Kaaba. Yeah. There's, 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 there's a, a high level of power given to that stone. Now, whether mm -hmm. you disagree with it or not, what I'm saying is, is I'm saying you guys pray towards that because of the stone. That's that's my opinion for me. Yeah. I, I could care less if but we if, don't do if, that. If, I could care less if in Mecca, that place was just a place of worship. Congratulations, great. <laughs> I wouldn't. I, I couldn't say it's idol worship if it was just a building. If the box was just there, the problem is is that there's the stone wall. You have the corner. You have the what is it? The cornerstone. Yeah. You have the cornerstone there, and you have it staple in there. Yeah. And what I see on the daily basis, okay is people circling around it, mm -hmm. touching it. Mm -hmm. Some people trampling over themselves to mm -hmm. touch it, to kiss it, and et cetera. So what I'm saying now is I see idol worship at the Kaaba. I, it, it, from now, I can't see, oh, well, they're just uh, praying uh, towards you know their place of worship. No, I see they're praying towards that stone. Mm. Because when people fly over and they get there, they scream and hoop and holler to try to touch it. Mm. Yeah, but do you also notice many people don't touch it? Or the ones that avoid it? Uh, I you believe those that? are the ones that don't have the opportunity to touch it. Well, yeah, okay, there you go. Which means, yeah, it's not part of the ritual. We don't have to do it, okay? So I, um, I see what you're saying. Yeah. I, see, I see what you're saying. So you're yeah. saying but, I, but have you noticed the surrounding? All of us, we, all of them do it because it's part of it. Okay, so and and the Safa al Marwa as well, which is the right, running right, right, right. coming. Yeah. Now I see what you're saying. So I see what you're saying as far as the 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 it not being ritualistic as far as part of the ritual. Like, exactly. Okay, when you come here, you don't have to. You have to look at this, right? I see what you're saying. You're you're saying that that's not the case. 
granted, I, I actually agree with you. I don't think it's part of the ritual, but this is what is being done. So when I, when I see different things like this being done, I look at that and I say, and I always get this word wrong, inadvertently, unadvertently, or whatever. You know what I mean? That means that you're doing something that you don't really know that you're doing. Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying is, is that they are praying towards the stone, worshiping the stone, idol worshiping the stone, unknowingly. That's basically what I'm posing to you mm. when I say that about the things that I see in in Mecca, right? Okay. okay, but yeah. Anyway, I'm not gonna go back to again. Mm -hmm. The stone is not relevant. It's only there out of love. Okay, they can even they can I even. I don't know if the stone is not relevant. <laughs> I don't know. Honestly, what like saying. if I if I go to Hajj life here, yeah. I, I guarantee you, I won't be bothered with the stone. I'll just do the Hajj rituals and go because. First of all, too but just many people. Because you're not bothered with the stone, does it does not it does does not does that not? Yeah, but does no. that not make you? I mean, it, it it's it's like for example, it's like me, right? It's like okay, all of this these things are symbolic for us, okay? Jesus, the cross, the tomb, right? It's like me saying, if I go to these three sites, I won't be bothered with the tomb, or I won't be bothered with the cross. Right? It's like it defeats the purpose. These are all these three things make sense in accordance with the actual scriptures itself. So why am I denouncing or not you know, and I don't want to I don't want to say you're fully denouncing it, but I'm saying why am I turning a blind eye or saying I won't be bothered with this, this, this and that thing? It just doesn't make because any it's sense. Because it's not compulsory. In Islam, we have compulsory laws. And non compulsory laws. But just because it's not compulsory, yeah. it's part of your religion now because of that man. It's yeah, part but this of your is, religion this is what because I'm, of Muhammad. This is what I'm saying, like, yeah? In Islam, we have compulsory, non compulsory. The um, the lifestyle of Prophet Muhammad, yeah? Yeah. It's called, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, we have Fard and Sunnah, mm -hmm. yeah? Mm -hmm. Fard means it's a must. Sunnah means um, you have a choice. You can do it or leave it, okay? Mm -hmm. So, the stone, we don't have to do it, okay? Yeah. But the facing towards Kaaba, the surrounding seven times, mm -hmm. Safa and Marwa, mm -hmm. and the slaughter. Now let the, me ask you this, um, because, because you keep saying, and we do, we keep going in circles, so I, we can move to another topic. But what I'm saying, let me ask you this. So you're saying that it's not compulsory? No. I get that. For the stone. I get that, I get that. Okay, why did Muhammad kiss and touch it then? And then why are everybody following his because suit. because he did it out of love. He did Be it out of love. Yes. For, for the stone. Yeah, to, because we believe. Why did he love the stone? Because we believe the stone is from heaven. It's a gift from God from mm -hmm. heaven. Mm -hmm. So what's wrong with kissing so it? So he kissed it's and like, touched it. it. Okay, so the stone from heaven it was was sent by God. Yeah. And it has no significance. No, God sent it by, um, to the earth at the beginning. So what's the significance? No, no. The, the significance was that to put the foundation of it at the beginning for Adam. Do you know Adam? The foundation of what? To put the location where Adam should build the Kaaba. Just you know what I'm saying. To so put the basically, location to basically where Adam came, should build the Kaaba. Basically came down, mm -hmm. to spot down, to show to Adam mm -hmm. where he should build it. Yeah, so he, you okay, know what I'm saying? And, and, so, and so, Muhammad ended up kissing yes. and touching the stone. Yes. And so now everybody goes there and yes. they kiss and touch the stone. Not everybody, but, but a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. but the ma you know, mass majority of the people who go to Mecca, yeah. that's exactly well, what I don't they think, do. Well, I don't but think it's majority because Mecca holds about 3 million people mm -hmm. for Hajj, 3 million. So it's probably well, like a few thousand well, yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, but that's, that's Mecca. I'm, that, that, that's Mecca. I'm talking about... I'm talking the, about I'm, Hajj, the Hajj, 3 million. Yeah, 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 yeah. But what yeah. I'm saying is, is that's, that's Mecca. I'm actually speaking of the people in the surrounding... Yes, er, yes. In the surrounding area Yeah, it takes, it takes 3 million stone. people. 3 million. What? In the Hajj. 3 million people can fit in there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in, in there? Yeah. If it, I think so. If you don't believe me, I'm sure. Three it's, million it's a big people, place. Three million people can fit inside that. that no, no, place. it's a big place. It's not. It's not a small place. Three uh, million people can fit inside. Hang that. on, hang on. Let me see. I'm pretty sure. I think there's a, a few million. That'd be, that'd be amazing. But 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 I, what I'm saying is is it, just in general. I'm saying the mass majority of Muslims. Let me let, let me not say okay. The mass majority of Muslims touch it. Oh, okay. there you go. Sorry, two million actually. 1.84, almost no, 2 million, a, almost 2 million. Human gathering with almost 1.8 million. Yeah. Two. Two, also too, what I'm saying is, is that we've already established that, we've already established that 
you know, I agree with you that you don't have to, to touch the stone. Like you don't exactly, yeah. too. But what I'm saying is, is that I'm asking you is that you don't feel some type of way for the fact that all of these people yeah. are, are, because remember, we were talking about idol worship. Yeah, again, you see? 1.5 million, 1.8 million. That's what it says. See? What did you put though? Gathering capacity. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah, the amount, the capacity. Because remember, we're talking about idol worship, right? So what I'm saying is, is that there's a mass majority, right? Let's not get caught up on words. There's a mass majority of Muslims that go to Mecca mm -hmm. to touch the stone just like Muhammad did, mm -hmm. to kiss the stone just like Muhammad did. You're but telling me they don't have to do it. We don't what have I'm to, telling no. you is they do it. I'm not asking, I'm not talking to you about- Yes, they do it out of I'm, love. <laughs> no, and I call that idol worship. He's just a man. Why are, okay, they, why, well, why are they following Why are they following what he does to a T like that? Oh, why are you going over here kissing and touching the stone? Because another man kissed and touched the stone. That okay, do you, sense. do you believe like having a cross is part of your worship? Having a cross, I've, I've, I've already answered that question, no. Okay, so why do Christians have it? it? Having a cross is a representation of the work Christ did on the cross. Okay, but... That's completely different than traveling miles away yeah, from where you live why? at to go kiss and touch a stone. But That's why, different. why do you have to have it though, even though it's a representation of Christ? You don't have to have it, it's a representation. Well, you see, well, you see a, what I mean? So you're no, actually agreeing with what idol, I said. It's not idol worship though. <laughs> that's literally not, yo, that is not idol worship. That is completely different. Having a symbol that represents, having a symbol on your neck that re where, where everyone can have their own symbol that represents something for the work that someone else did is completely different than traveling to this tree, for example, this tree here or this or this thing here, right? Say, you kiss and touch the corner of that, right? But I already told and you then, we don't and have and to. And then later on, <laughs> and then later on, right? You mm. become some big guy, some big prophet, some big, and then you have uh, 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 millions of people, because we can say millions of people have done that since the, the, of the course, uh, millions. Since, yeah, people have traveled there, you know, over and over and over mm -hmm. and over again. Millions of people have done that. So millions of people have kissed and touched a corner of this because of you. Because yeah. of you. Yeah, but like, like I said, it's just- How is it not idol worship? No, it's not like, because it's only idol worship when you express it as God. When you start believing that's your God and start worshiping it, that's when it becomes idol worship. But if you kiss it out of love, that's not idol worship. It's like um, you kissing your son or your, or your daughter. Or your wife it doesn't mean like that's idol worship. It's just out of love. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So yeah, you typed it in wrong, but yeah. Okay. So it says it can accommodate up to two million worshipers. There you go. Yeah. One of the largest. Wow, that's huge. Yeah. There two you million go. people can fit in there. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, it's a big place, bro. It's a big place. That is huge. Yeah. So, so, that, that, so that means that's why, that a lot of people. That's why. Yeah. But one second. Okay. So so when we're there, yeah, for sure. So I'll take that back. I won't say the mass majority of people there. What I would say is the mass majority, and I would and I would assume the mass majority would want to touch it. Now, with too many people there, how many people are going to get a chance to touch it? A few thousand, maybe. Few thousand, few, <laughs> maybe few, maybe not even a few more than that. Maybe maybe ten thousand. Maybe, maybe yeah, you know, maybe ten, twenty, thirty thousand. Yeah. I mean, dude, if there's two million people there, I'm pretty sure that there probably be people mm. there waiting to be able to touch it. So. Uh, However it happens, I know that there's going to be thousands of people being able to touch that stone, yeah. touch it, kiss it, etc. Yeah. Now, the point is, is that it's only being done because of another man. Obviously, you said like, oh, I'm not a Catholic, but you're the same. I can call myself Shia. Wow. You know what I mean? Because I know that our theology is identical. You can't call yourself Shia. <laughs> you can't do that, Bob. You can't, don't, wow, you, you, you know, can't, you cannot call yourself do you know, Shia, bro. Do you know what Shia, the you word know, Shia you means? You do, you know, do you know what the word Shia means? What does it mean? It means division, basically. So I can't, you're right, I can't, I can't use that word. <laughs> you're right, I can't even you use can't that word. You can't call yourself a Shia. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> if you're a Sunni, <laughs> no, you I can't call yourself a Shia, man. No, That's but insane. what I'm saying, no, no, you're right, I can't do it. But what I'm saying is, yeah, let's say like, if I'm forced in a corner, yeah, I would say yes. If I'm forced, I've got no choice, I'll right. say yes, I'll accept it. <laughs>